Have you ever wondered what whales, those majestic creatures of the deep, have to do with the vastness of space? It's not a connection that immediately springs to mind, is it? On one hand, we have these enormous, intelligent mammals, whose songs echo through our planet's oceans. On the other, we have the silent, infinite expanse of the cosmos, filled with planets, stars and galaxies beyond our comprehension. It's a question that may seem peculiar, even absurd at first glance. But hold on to your curiosity, because this is a story where the improbable becomes the intriguing. It's a journey that takes us from the deep blue seas to the dark, star-filled void of space. It's a tale of science, of discovery, and of the unexpected connections that can exist in our complex universe. So, get ready to challenge what you think you know and broaden your horizons. Let's dive into the depths of this fascinating story. Whales are the largest animals on Earth, true titans of our oceans. These marine behemoths are not just colossal in size, they're also remarkably fascinating creatures. With species ranging from the 30-foot-long minka whale to the breathtaking blue whale, which can reach up to a hundred feet in length, their dimensions are truly awe-inspiring. Though whales are found in every ocean around the globe, they've adapted to a variety of habitats. Some prefer the icy waters of the Arctic or Antarctic, while others thrive in the tropical and temperate seas. They're nomadic by nature, often traveling thousands of miles in their annual migrations. These journeys are driven by their need to feed and breed, a testament to their survival instinct and adaptability. Now if you think their size is what makes them unique, wait till you hear about their communication methods. Whales communicate using a complex language of clicks, whistles, and songs. The blue whale, for instance, produces one of the loudest and lowest frequency sounds of any animal. These low frequency sounds can travel incredible distances underwater, allowing whales to communicate across vast oceanic expanses. Their lifestyle is equally fascinating. They're known for their spectacular displays of breaching where they launch themselves out of the water and tail slapping where they smack the surface of the water with their large flukes. This behavior, scientists believe, may serve a variety of purposes including communication, courtship, and even as a method to dislodge parasites. But perhaps the most intriguing aspect of whales is their intelligence. These creatures display high levels of cognition and some species even exhibit cultural behaviors. They're known to teach, learn, cooperate, scheme, and even grieve. So, whales are fascinating, but how do they connect to space? Space, the final frontier, is a vast and mysterious place, much like our oceans. It stretches out in every direction, a seemingly endless expanse of blackness sprinkled with countless stars, planets, galaxies, and other celestial bodies. It's easy to feel overwhelmed by its enormity, but let's try to comprehend it together. Imagine, if you will, a grain of sand. Now multiply that by 100, 1,000, 1 million and keep going. You'll soon realize that even the largest number you can think of pales in comparison to the number of stars in the observable universe. It's estimated that there are more stars out there than there are grains of sand on all the beaches on Earth. And it's not just the number of stars that's mind-boggling. The distances between these celestial bodies are equally unfathomable. Light, the fastest thing we know of, takes years to travel from one star to another. The nearest star to us, Proxima Centauri, is about four and a quarter light years away. That means the light we see from it today actually left the star over four years ago. The mysteries of space are not just confined to its scale. There's dark matter, an invisible substance that we can't see or touch, but which makes up about 25% of the universe. There are black holes, regions of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. And there are countless other phenomena that we're only just beginning to understand. Despite its vastness and mystery, we humans have an inherent desire to explore and understand space. We've sent spacecrafts to the farthest reaches of our solar system, and telescopes are constantly peering deeper into the universe, capturing images of distant galaxies and nebulae. Every new discovery brings us a step closer to understanding our place in the cosmos. But how are these two seemingly unrelated domains linked? The answer lies in sound. Both whales and celestial bodies communicate in a language that transcends the barriers of space and ocean depths. When we think of communication, we often think of words and sentences and perhaps body language. But in the vast expanses of the ocean and the cosmos, a different type of language is in play, the language of sound. In the deep dark depths of the ocean the mighty whales navigate and communicate using complex sounds. These giants of the sea produce a variety of vocalizations, from deep resonant songs that can travel thousands of miles, to high-frequency clicks used for echolocation. 
These clicks help whales map their surroundings, locate prey, and communicate with each other, even in the murkiest waters where light fails to penetrate. These sound signals are not random noise, they are intricate patterns and rhythms that carry meaning, much like the words and sentences we humans use. Each whale species and even each individual has its own unique vocalizations, forming a rich tapestry of underwater sound that we are only beginning to understand. But the language of sound is not confined to the oceans, it also extends to the farthest reaches of space where stars and other celestial bodies emit radio waves that can be interpreted as sound. Just as whales use sound to navigate and communicate in the ocean, stars use these radio waves to convey information across the vast emptiness of space. When a star emits radio waves it's like it's singing a song into the cosmos. These songs can tell us a lot about the star, its size, its age, its composition, even its history. By tuning into these cosmic melodies, astronomers can learn about the life cycles of stars, the formation of galaxies, and the evolution of the universe itself. The sounds of whales and stars may seem worlds apart, but they share a common thread. They both use sound as a means of communication and navigation. In the profound silence of the ocean depths and the cold emptiness of space, sound provides a lifeline, a way to reach out and touch the world, to express oneself, to find one's way. The connection between whales and space may seem tenuous at first glance, but when we delve deeper, we find that they are bound by a shared language of sound. This language, complex and beautiful, echoes across the ocean depths and the cosmic void, carrying messages from the giants of the sea and the stars in the sky. So the next time you gaze up at the night sky or listen to the haunting song of a whale, remember this, you are witnessing a conversation that transcends the barriers of space and ocean depths a conversation in the universal language of sound. The connection between whales and space starts to reveal itself through this shared language of sound. Sound travels in waves and these waves can tell us a lot about their source. This is the concept that underlies the peculiar connection between the giants of the ocean and the vastness of space. But how exactly does this work? Let's delve into the science of sound. Sound in its essence is a type of energy made by vibrations. When an object vibrates it causes the air particles around it to move, creating pressure waves that we perceive as sound. In the case of whales these vibrations are created by the movement of air through their vocal cords, and in the case of stars, by the vibrations within their plasma. Now you might be thinking, wait a second, there's no air or plasma in space for sound to travel through. You're absolutely right. In the vacuum of space, traditional sound as we know it cannot exist. But that doesn't mean space is silent, instead of traveling as pressure waves in air, sounds from stars travel as electromagnetic waves. These can be detected by special instruments and converted into a form we can hear. So, how do scientists study these sounds to learn more about whales and stars? They use a field of study called, bioacoustics for whales and helioseismology for stars. Bioacoustics is the study of the sounds produced by animals. Scientists record whale songs using underwater microphones or hydrophones. By analyzing the frequency, pitch and duration of these sounds, researchers can learn a lot about the whales. For example, they can identify individual whales, determine their health status, and even understand their behavior and communication patterns. On the other hand, helioseismology is the study of the oscillations in stars. These oscillations create waves that travel through the star and can be detected by telescopes. By studying these waves, scientists can learn about the star's size, temperature, and composition. Just like whale songs, the sounds of stars are unique and can tell us a lot about their source. In essence, the study of sound allows us to explore both the depths of the ocean and the vastness of space. It enables us to understand the language of whales and stars and to decipher the secrets they hold. Isn't it fascinating how the same principles can be applied to entities as different as whales and stars? This is the beauty of science, it shows us how things that seem worlds apart can be connected in the most unexpected ways, and it's through these connections that we can gain a deeper understanding of the universe around us. So the study of sound brings whales and space together in a surprising way, and who knows? The more we listen, the more we might discover about these incredible creatures and the stars that light up our night sky. The connection between whales and space is not as far-fetched as it might initially seem, now that's a statement that might raise a few eyebrows, right? But bear with me for a moment. You see, it all comes down to one thing. Sound. Just as whales communicate using complex songs under the ocean, the cosmos too speaks in a language of sound. 
but instead of melodious songs, it's the sound of cosmic waves. These aren't audible to our ears, but with the right technology, we can convert them into sounds we can comprehend. In the previous scenes we've talked about the language of whales and the vastness of space. Now let's connect the dots. The study of whale songs has helped scientists develop methods to interpret the sounds of the cosmos. Surprising, isn't it? But how does this work? Picture this. A whale, deep in the ocean, sends out a series of low-frequency sounds, a song. This song travels through the water, bouncing off various objects, providing the whale with information about its surroundings. It's a form of echolocation, a way for the whale to see its environment through sound. Now, let's switch the scene to outer space. Instead of water, we have the vast, seemingly empty expanse of the universe. And instead of whale songs, we have cosmic waves rippling through space. But just like the whale songs, these cosmic waves provide us with information about the universe. They bounce off celestial bodies, giving us clues about their size, shape, and composition. So we take the principles we've learned from studying whale songs, the way sound can provide information about an environment, and apply them to the sounds of that cosmos. The result? A new way to explore the universe using the same principles a whale uses to navigate the ocean depths. But it doesn't stop there. The study of whale songs also gives us insights into how to interpret these cosmic sounds, just as each whale song is unique, each celestial body sings in a unique way. By understanding the variations in whale songs, scientists gain a better understanding of how to interpret the subtle differences in cosmic waves. This cross-disciplinary approach, borrowing insights from marine biology to aid in the study of astrophysics, is a testament to the interconnectedness of science. It's a beautiful example of how studying one aspect of our world, or indeed our universe, can shed light on another. In essence, the study of whale songs has not only given us a deeper understanding of these magnificent creatures but also provided us with a new way to explore the cosmos. So, in a way, whales have become our guides in the exploration of the universe. The exploration of space and oceans continues, with whales playing an unexpected role. Our planet's largest inhabitants, the whales, are now helping us reach out into the vastness of space. Sounds a bit outlandish, doesn't it? But that's the beauty of exploration, it's full of surprises. You see, the language of whales, their complex and melodic songs, have been a subject of fascination for decades. Scientists have been studying these sounds, trying to decipher their meanings, and in the process they stumbled upon a surprising connection, the sounds of space. Yes, space has a sound, a symphony of cosmic noise that we're just beginning to understand. Just as the whales use their songs to communicate, to navigate, to express emotions, perhaps the cosmos too is trying to tell us something. The space is not silent, it's filled with the whispers of stars, the hum of galaxies and the echo of cosmic events. And the tools we've developed to study the language of whales, they're now helping us decode the sounds of space. The advanced audio technologies, the algorithms, the pattern recognition techniques, they're all being used to explore the cosmic soundscape. But it's not just about understanding, it's about exploration. It's about pushing the boundaries, venturing into the unknown, being open to unexpected connections. The study of whale sounds is now shaping our future exploration efforts both in the deep seas and the farthest reaches of space. Our journey into the cosmos is just beginning, and it's being guided by the songs of whales. What a fascinating time to be alive. We're using the language of Earth's giants to explore the universe, to seek answers to our biggest questions, to unravel the mysteries that have intrigued us for centuries. Who knew that the songs of whales could help us unravel the mysteries of the cosmos? Have you ever wondered how whales, these majestic creatures of the deep, navigate through the vast, often dark and disorienting oceans? Recent research suggests that these gentle giants harness the power of the stars above to guide them through the endless depths of the sea. Yes, you heard it right. Much like early human explorers, whales may be looking to the heavens for guidance. Some scientists believe that whales may use the Earth's magnetic field, which is influenced by celestial bodies, to navigate their long, trans-oceanic journeys. This magnetic field, invisible to the human eye, forms a complex network of lines and contours that crisscross the globe, influenced by the sun and other celestial bodies. Whales with their keen senses may be able to detect and follow these magnetic lines, effectively using them as an internal GPS system. This concept isn't as far-fetched as it may seem. 
Consider the sailors of old, who traversed the seas guided by the constellations above. For them, the stars were a map, a compass, a beacon in the vast and often treacherous ocean. Whales, with their complex brains and sophisticated senses, may be doing something similar, using the celestial cues to chart their course across the ocean. The implications of this research are profound. Understanding how whales navigate could give us deeper insights into their behavior, their migratory patterns, their feeding habits, and even their social structures. It could also shed light on how they adapt to changing environmental conditions, including shifts in the Earth's magnetic field or changes in sea temperatures. So, the next time you gaze up at the stars or watch a whale breach the ocean's surface, consider this. Just like sailors once relied on the constellations to guide their ships, whales may be using the stars, the very fabric of our cosmos, to chart their course across vast distances. The exploration of our universe, it seems, is not just limited to us humans. The whales, in their own way, are also explorers of the vast cosmic ocean above. The connection between whales and space is a testament to the interconnectedness of our world and beyond. In the vast tapestry of existence, everything is connected, from the smallest microorganism to the largest celestial body, and everything in between. As we've discovered in this journey, even the seemingly unrelated realms of marine life and outer space have a fascinating and intricate connection. We've explored the majesty of whales, the gentle giants of the ocean. These marine behemoths are not merely inhabitants of the sea, they play a critical role in maintaining the health of our planet's ecosystems. Their songs, rich and complex, echo through the deep, telling stories of their lives and journeys. These haunting melodies are not just beautiful but they hold the key to understanding these magnificent creatures and their environment. We've navigated through the vast expanse of space, a realm filled with countless stars, galaxies and mysteries yet to be uncovered. We've delved into the language of the stars, the cosmic symphony of radio waves that echo through the universe. These waves, much like the songs of whales, tell stories of celestial bodies and their journeys. They too are a key to understanding the universe and our place within it. The connection between whales and space lies in the science of sound. We've discovered that the songs of whales and the radio waves of stars share remarkable similarities. Both are forms of communication that traverse great distances, carrying information about their source and environment. Both hold the potential to unlock new understandings about our world and the universe beyond. This surprising connection between whales and space is more than just a fascinating fact. It's a testament to the incredible complexity and interconnectedness of our universe. It's a reminder that there is so much more to learn, so much more to explore. It reinforces the idea that everything in our world and beyond is linked in ways we might not yet fully comprehend. The broader implications of this connection are vast. It opens new avenues for exploration and research, potentially leading to groundbreaking discoveries in both marine biology and astrophysics. It could lead to novel ways of understanding and preserving our ecosystems and of exploring and comprehending the universe. It's a compelling reminder of the power of interdisciplinary research, of stepping outside our conventional boxes to see the bigger picture. But most importantly this connection between whales and space is a poignant reminder of our place within this grand tapestry. We are but a small part of a vast intricate web of existence, yet we have the capacity to understand, explore and protect this web. We have the ability to unravel the mysteries of the universe, one song, one wave at a time. So the next time you look up at the stars or see a whale breach, remember this remarkable connection and marvel at the wonders of our universe. Thanks for watching Time Pilgrimage. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating time and space-related content.